Fans come in all shapes and sizes, and uh, right now we've got a really awesome panel. I can't wait to see this. Uh, we had a prep call the other day, and it was a ton of fun. Uh, Pete Parsons is the CEO of Bungie, of course. They've got Destiny 2. You guys excited about Destiny 2? Well, you can head on over to the uh, show floor. You get a chance to play Destiny 2. Uh, Pete has been in the industry for a long time. As I mentioned, he's the CEO of Bungie, and uh, he kindly agreed to come to the Coliseum and be interviewed by... Uh, a Destiny super fan who also happens to be a WWE superstar, The Big Show. So this is a conversation. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be entertaining. Uh, please welcome The Big Show and Pete Parsons from Bungie. You guys, come on out. What do you think? All these people here? Pretty awesome. Hey I'm, I'm nervous. I don't know if I can talk in front of a crowd. I'm nervous because I'm right. standing next to you. It's okay. I had, you know, I did have a breakfast burrito, but I think everybody in the room is safe. All right. Oh, what is God. that clicking noise? Is that me? I think it's my beard it's be beating beard. up my mic. Yeah. yeah. Hey, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Good? Yeah. All right. Now, how many Destiny fans do we have here today? Yeah. All right. How many Titans do we have here? <laughs> okay, you guys can leave now. Uh, well, if you guys don't know, of course, I'm WWE Superstar Big Show. I am a, uh, yeah, uh, a legend in the business, which is a nice way of saying I've been around a long time. Um, but what many of you may not know is I'm also a, a bit of a gamer. I know it doesn't make sense with hands the size of this, but... Uh, in my world, in my life, I'm, I'm constantly on and being nice and taking pictures and, and interacting with people. For me, my relax, my escape is gaming. And for some of you guys that understand that, that are gamers, if you're a gamer, you understand what it's like to get away and get into your game that you love, whatever it is. Destiny happens to be my favorite game. And of course, I'm very fortunate and very lucky because of the things I've done in my wrestling career. I get a chance to sit down with the CEO of Bungie, a great guy, Pete Parsons. You owe me five bucks for saying that. Well, we feel fortunate that not only are you a player, but you're part of the community. And uh, you know, talk about the community and what it means to you. Well, the community to me, that's the thing. I think you know, I've played different. kid, I didn't get to be much of a gamer because I worked and all that other stuff. But as I got older, I got to get into gaming. And Destiny... was and they killed the yellow bar and then they all sent messages and I didn't know anybody from Adam and I thought wow this is a cool game like you don't know anybody but we all have one thing in common we're gonna kill the bosses and we're gonna kill the moms so it got me hooked right away and then for me it gave me a chance to to be a part of a community that really because you know we work hard to kick yeah. the hell out of your game you know that right <laughs> sure do. you know there are some of us that look for cheese spots I don't that often. <laughs> Once in a while, you know, with a, you know, when you when you when you have the ogre that all of a sudden starts running faster, there's that. I think the ogre just about came out. I think the ogre came out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I love the fact that you have to have to work together as a team. And everybody has a different role. Now you guys have known over the years I've always bagged on Titans, how they get the fist of panic. You know, it's not fist to havoc, it's fist to panic. In PvP, I think the reason I have such hatred for Titans, and I, I didn't run a Titan, is because I got owned by so many Titans in PvP. As soon as you turn a corner, there's a shotgun, shotgun. fist to panic. Can I fix this? I'm nervous. You know, my beard wants more camera time. 
All right, is that better? Yeah. All right, can you hear me now? Yeah. All right, and, and the thing about it is, but honestly, I think with D2 coming out, um, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to invest some time in a Titan. I really will. I love being a hunter. Oh, excellent. I love being a hunter in D1, but at the same time, with the new challenges that I think that I'm looking forward to, we're gonna play this game later today, right? Yes, right, gonna, yes, okay. sir. Right. Hey, you know, I, I get it, I'm happy to do this, but you know, I got a price, right, hey? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to it because that's one of the big things that you and I did get a chance to talk about a little bit briefly was um, the importance of, of the clans. Yeah. You know, you talked about that, that how there's going to be uh, a little bit more specific things for clans. So the better your clan is, you're going to get clan opportunities now, which, you know, those of us, we all run with our crew. We got our guys, you know, the one guy that eats potato chips the whole time, the one guy whose kid's screaming in the background. The one guy. The potato chip guy. Yeah, I, I got this really good friend of mine, um, Kadeem. And uh, Kadeem is Captain Crunchy. Because every time I play with him, all it is is crunch, 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 crunch. I'm dieting. <laughs> you know how frustrating it is to play a game and see somebody eating really crunchy chips? It makes it a little harder. But anyway, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to uh, the challenges that are going to be put forth for the Yeah, I mean, I think the plans are going to be great. I mean, by the way, thank you for all or for playing online as well. Like, we are, like, so fortunate to have the community. We have, I can't tell you. We're part of that community. We, you, I can't tell you how much we play at the studio. I get to work with. I played with some of your guys. Yeah, you have before. Yeah. It was, it was funny because you know a lot of people think I'm full of BS, not full of Big Show, but full of BS. <laughs> when I tell them I play Destiny, and then you know a couple of the guys that created the game kind of called me out a little bit, you know, oh, come and raid with us, and I'm like, okay, but our, you know, you guys better be up to par because you know. So was that before you, before or after you sent us the broken controller? Was that the... <laughs> broken controller came after I got owned by a Titan. I'm okay. telling you, there's a lot of hate from Titans. There's a lot of hate from Titans. There's nothing, there's, there's nothing like turning a corner and getting a fist to panic and, you know, you're... I, I'm going to make a Titan. Yeah. But, uh, so I got to play with some of the developers. Some of the guys actually created the game. And uh, we ran that last raid. And I would like, footnoted for the record, yeah. Your guys created the game. How many times did I die in the raid? Uh, if I remember, you said zero times. Right. Who had the most amount of kills in the raid? I think we're going to go look at the data on that I one. think you should look at the data and find out that Big Show's a <laughs> hunter. I roll a hunter, too. No. But that's the thing, you know, there's no saying you say, you know, as long as you're doing what you love, you never work a day in your life. And you can definitely tell one of the great things about Destiny, not just in the community that we have, but also in the developers themselves. They create this game, they play this game, they love this game. So they have the same frustrations, you know, like when you do, you know, a, 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 a weekly trial and you get, a, you know, three strange coins. I mean, it's awesome to put that much work in and get three strange coins. And some guy that hid in the cheese spot the whole time gets in, you know, an exotic. I mean, it's totally fair. <laughs> totally fair. I mean, it's, I mean, yeah, you, you, you're so sorry. You need a, you need an exotic weapon to, to help your gaming. I'll take my three coins and wait for Friday to see Zer. <laughs> well, I can tell you, we are our own worst critics. So you're right. At the studio, we play Destiny. That's what we do. We don't just play it because we're working on it. We play it uh, because we love it. And we love being part of the community. You were mentioning clans earlier. Right. And that's going to be a big part of how do we, by putting clans in the game, how do we bring people together under their own common banner? Yeah, and then when the, they do that, then they have guided games. And so... What was the thing you told me, and it made a lot of sense to me about Destiny, just because I do love the game, but it's the game you want to play with the people you want to play with. Yeah, so we, one of you the know? things we say at Bungie is that we want to create a, a, a world that people want to spend time in, that they want to, they want to be in. A world that they they care about. Mm -hmm. Once you have that world that you've built up, you fill it with a bunch of really fun things to do, lots of different activities. How about the lore in in in, in Destiny, the history behind Thorn? You know what I mean? Like me, as I mean, okay, I love the Marvel movies, I love the DC, I love the Star Wars, I love the the larger than life fantasy. I love that stuff. Like let my imagination grow and and dream bigger than ever. 
But when I look at all the history of, of, of Destiny, I'm thinking, wow, this is a great opportunity for graphic novels. Is that something that, that would happen be, in the future? I think that would be a lot of fun. I mean, once I think you build a, a world, you can do lots of fun things in it. It's a great opportunity for Destiny no, movies. We need a giant hunter. <laughs> a giant hunter? See what I did there? It's a story of a hunter. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what cool you see I did there. In wrestling, we call that booking yourself. <laughs> see what I did there? Getting yourself that main event spot, yo. Um, yeah, but there's so much history. I think that's part of you the fact. It kind of looks like a Titan, though, right? I mean, yeah, okay, really, I'll play a Titan do, in the movie. You do I got really it. Kind of look I got like it. A titan. I'll, be, I'll be a Titan. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll run around with my fist to panic. <laughs> I actually, that would probably work pretty good. <laughs> Maybe I should change my finish to the KO punch to the fist of panic. Mm -hmm. Ah! So, um, uh, you know, when you, when you look at all the lore and all the time, and then you talk with the people that created the game, this is not a game that, that, that the creators of, uh, you know, the people at Bungie and the creators of Destiny, they said, oh, we're just going to put this game together so we can push the product out to fans so that they, they spend time and money on the game. Okay, yes, it's a business. We all understand that. But these guys put heart and soul and passion in developing this game with history and lore and something that they didn't take from anything else. Because Destiny is its own unique universe, its own unique concept, its own unique bad guys, bosses, aliens, stories, heroes, you know, fallen heroes. You know, we talk about the, the guardians that have fallen before and some of our missions we run into, the fallen guardians and whatnot. I dig that up because to me that puts me in a completely different universe and it makes it more absorbable, if that makes sense. You know, um, I, I love that part of the game. And I tell you one thing, if you guys aren't aware, when you do good work and you're enjoying something and then you find out that more about, you know, Bungie itself and some of the work that Bungie does, they talk about the gaming community and Destiny. But do any of you know the community efforts that Bungie does to give back to different communities. Do you want to explain a little bit about some of the I was just about work? to ask you for a job, if you wanted a job, because that yeah, was I awesome. That was great. I want, I want oh, some codes, you. too. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> oh, man. I knew it. Yeah, yeah. yeah we gonna, we gonna, you ain't leaving here without some codes, Jack. I'm not waiting six months to get a gallon horn this time. I'm getting it day <laughs> You talk about world building. Hey, one of the things I, I love, which goes back to our community, if we can create a, a great world and put a bunch of fun stuff to do it and make sure that everything is more fun to do with or in front of your friends, what's great about that is then you all start telling your own stories. And that's maybe the, the, the most heartwarming thing for us is to see the people who've come together, who've connected, who are playing Maybe, maybe never in a way they have before. I mean, I've reconnected with friends from all over. No, I don't want to see any of my friends. They all want money, so. I like well, your friends just friends. eat chips, too, but. Uh, yeah, but friends the, that eat chips, friends that want money. But, yeah. but the stories around the community, and so hopefully, you know, whether it's with, with clans where we can make those communities tighter, whether it's with guided games where we can bring in new people into those clans. Well, you, you create such a great environment with the clans, this, the community becomes a big deal. You know how we all work together as a, you know, when we're doing our raids. Everybody's got their assignments, their jobs. You know, we shoot the high priest you know, with our touch of malice. Okay, back in the bubble. You know, run around three times. There you go. You know, it's a little stressful. I, sometimes I think you guys are laughing. Why am I going to run around this three times? Okay, but anyway, I get it. It's challenging and I dig that. One of the things that I was doing a little bit of reading on Bungie before I got to do this you know, awesome interview with Pete the Guardian community itself has gone above and beyond outside of the game. Some of the Guardians have done a lot of work with Make-A-Wish. And you know I've done a lot of Make-A-Wish with WWE. It's a fantastic organization. We've got actual gamers, our Guardians, that do cosplay, dress up as Titans, Warlocks, Hunters, and help and go and visit sick kids like at St. Jude's. That's your community. That's you guys. That's you guys giving back. You know? Yeah, it's super. It's awesome. You know, that's, that's an amazing testament to your commitment to the community, your commitment to the game, your commitment to each other, but also your commitment to humanity. Because let's just face it, nowadays, there's a lot of people out there that are constantly taken. When we have groups of people that come together to give back, that's when we're really moving ahead, and that's when we're really moving forward. 
Um, yeah, that, I mean, that was incredible for us to see. We've, we've been working on the- That's your community that you created. Oh man, I mean, your no, grand, they created themselves. We, we actually made the great, the, the great stage and then all of the players made it a great place to, to spend time in. I mean, we've been working, we have a, the Bungie Foundation, which has been doing work for, for many years, going all the way back to Hurricane Katrina. Um, we do make a lot of Make-A-Wish right. work as well as uh, we yeah, have Yeah, I'm getting a, my wish today. I'm getting some codes. Yeah. <laughs> You're saying you're not getting out of that. But sorry to interrupt, sir. <laughs> Codes. Codes. You know, I got to tell you, here's... I'm getting, I'm getting tired of the code question, oh, Paul. Hey, hey, man. I'm getting, I mean, I mean hey, hey, I'm just... I'm just saying... Yo, I'm we're just saying, cool, bro. I'll learn it the hard way. <laughs> I, needed, I knew this might happen based on our call. Yeah. I I'm, thought I'd have to bring back up <laughs> with Cold Heart. Okay, okay, that's an exotic. One of our new exotics. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you've never seen a seven foot, 370 pound nerd cry, you're about to. <laughs> Whew, this is just absolutely beautiful. Yeah. No, y'all right. can't have it. So. Um, you know, earlier before I was teasing about the codes, wow, this is absolutely amazing. The detail of work in this, this is so cool. This is like really. Like, I'm going to annoy the hell out of my family with yeah. this. I can feel it. And so much of this great work actually comes out of the community. It's about really? people playing together. It's about not just the cosplayers. It's about all of the different you know, gear people are creating, people coming together. Yeah, it's I, uh, I, it's I pretty love, awesome. I it's, love the dedication, the imagination that goes into it. But I also love the fact that Bungie gives back. You know, um, you know Bungie does you. a lot of work. You know, he talked about since Katrina. But also, you know, Bungie donated over a million dollars to Nepal after that, you know, that horrendous accident over there. Yep. Um, you know, I mean. Thank you. That, that's a statement, and that starts, you know, that starts at the leadership all the way down, and that's your commitment to give back to your community as well and the people around you. Yeah, and that was, part of the, that was also part of our community, and we, we were very fortunate. And, you know, I get to work with 700, about 700 of some of the most talented people in the world who are part of your, part of our community uh, together. And it's not just about... Codes. <laughs> and so when we have an opportunity, we've been very fortunate, so we have an opportunity to give back to that community. We get to do great things. And so even, even the work on Nepal, like part of that was funded by the community through our t-shirts, the t-shirt campaign we did. Yeah. Our wow. store uh, drives a lot of their profits back into the store. And then we also do our, our uh, children's uh, orthopedic hospital in Seattle. We have our iPads for Kids program. And I just have to That's give a amazing. huge shout out to the Bungie Foundation team because uh, at Children's Hospital, uh, there's a lot of sick kids. And every kid, I think in almost every inpatient and outpatient part of the, the hospital now, a kid who wouldn't otherwise have something like an iPad can come in, they get a, a free iPad that they can use while they're there. And the entire foundation team is amazing, and the team that backs it up is amazing. Yeah. And you guys are all amazing to help fund it as well. So thank you very much. That's amazing. Now, Pete, if I may, can I hit you with some questions? Sure, yeah, okay. sure, as long as they're not about codes. Well, I have nothing to say then. <laughs> um, no. Um, one of the things, like, you know, I have a lot of my fans that hit me up with some stuff, and, and um, there's a lot of talk that I've been getting my way. I don't know if you guys are part of that, too. You know, we have the, the, the PS, the PlayStation platform. We have the Xbox platform. Mm. Is there any potential in the future that maybe we'll be able to, us, us PlayStation guys can go over and, you know, whip the hell out of some of those Xbox guys <laughs> down the road? Oh, my goodness. I, I mean, well, not. you know, let's, I know I always get the guys that talk trash, and they go, what, what game is this do you want? And I'm like, I'm on play, oh, oh, I'm on Xbox. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> you talked all that smack and realized you're about to get smacked up, and you're on a different system? <laughs> right. Well, not, well, not currently, uh, okay. but we, we do focus on making sure that the game is the best it can be on any uh, platform. And you know we're introducing PC this year. PC, well. wow. Yeah. So. Which is going to be pretty exciting, so... I know, but my finger's computer keyboard. Well, that's all right. You can use a controller. Okay. Yeah, I'll be all right. If you want. I, as long, yeah. hey, I got to keep my riff up. You know, big reach, slinging 187s, yo. So, okay, I'm not a rapper. If I was a rapper, I'd be saran rap because I got it covered. Not good. Okay, bad. that's terrible. But that was terrible. Um, one of the things, too, is, okay, now, Destiny 2 is 
actually coming out earlier and projected September 6th, correct? Yeah, so uh, we originally announced September 8th, and on console will be coming out on September 6th. And we start our beta it, July 21st? Uh, July, I believe it begins July 18th. And 18th? 19th, I love it yeah. when I'm wrong and it's even and better then, for me. Uh, <laughs> And then uh, the PC version will launch on October 24th with its beta uh, sometime in August. Now that PC version, that's, that's, that's the elite gaming platform when you're on the PC version, correct? I don't know, you know, there's elite gamers everywhere. I mean, well, elite yeah, elite I know, well, I mean, hey, yeah, I'm right like you, here, you know, hey. You will, <laughs> it's okay, I'm glad to be yeah. here. But uh, yeah, you, I, mean, I think it's exciting to, for us to be on the PC because there's, yeah. the, there's a whole bunch of people who want to play on the PC and they're going to be excited. But I like the fact uh, that you're giving this game, uh, you know, as multiple platforms for exposure for everyone to enjoy it and understand what our community is about. And I think that's incredible that now we're also going to be part of PC, Xbox, PlayStation. Yep. Um, it's just such a huge community. It's really a, a really a good deal. Well, now, when you, when we started talking, you originally came over from Microsoft, correct? Yeah, originally uh, I, was at, I was at Microsoft and then had the great fortune to be on the early Xbox team and meet the, meet the Bungie team in the late 90s. And right, so, so you started I'd the I'd been Halo. a Marathon fan prior, be Woo! prior before Woo! that. Marathon, yeah, all right. <laughs> now, but you started developing the first Halo, correct? Were you part of that uh, Well, team? so I was working primarily on the Xbox side and then got to work with the team while they were working on Halo and then uh, shortly after that came over full-time to the Bungie so, and started right. working on Halo 2. And, and it, before uh, you were in Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, you were uh, you were a bodybuilder. No, I was not a bodybuilder. I worked, he worked for who? I worked for Joe Weider. Yeah, he was, was a bodybuilder. Body <laughs> yeah, he was. No, he was a protein shake, ab sit up, you know, curling kind of guy. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay to be a nerd with muscles. I'm okay with it. Well, it was always like gaming, and it was a, such a great opportunity. I mean, particularly when when Bungie came around right. to really. Uh, I remember looking at Halo and saying, oh my gosh, that's just, that's a world that we want to be in. And that's exactly yeah. what we've been able to do with Destiny is hopefully create a world that you want to be in. And now we get to create these great communities uh, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and then and, and hopefully see the fruits of that labor, which is really amazing. Well, I really think the amazing. fruits of the labor are showing because the game's growing. And, and you know, when we first started Vault of Glass was ridiculous, remember? Like Vault of Glass was like, oh, it's, this is like so hard. And then once you got your light levels up and your weapons up, and you know, now I go back and play Vault of Glass for fun just to, just to beat it to death. You know, like when you run Vault of Glass almost by yourself, you're really being a bully. At the light level I'm at now, it's kind of fun. But I love how the fact that as the game progresses, um, the challenges become more. Um, what yeah. are we doing different with Destiny 2? Are we going to... Is our vault space going to be different? Yes. Yes. Well, we're you not know. talking about that, but I think you're going to find a lot of new stuff to do. Okay, in I do have one it's thing. It's big, big story. I'm Can't excited wait to, play. to find out because I'm going to get to play that a little bit today, right? A little you bit are. of a test. Yeah, today. you're going to get to play a little bit today. <clears throat> to play Inverted right. Spire, I Let think. Let me see. The strike. So, and we can't wait for the beta to come out for, for all of you as well. That's going to be an exciting moment. I know That's the team really is really fired up about it. Are you going to take the salary cap off? <laughs> I need to know that I, I need to see six million. All these questions. I need Let's to see we, six uh, million in glimmer. Twenty-five thousand. Just you know, it feels like my parents are putting an allowance on me. <laughs> just saying. I like. I mean, I'll trade. Help. I'll trade the twenty-five. You know, I'll stay at the limit. I just need a couple codes. Let's just play together first, and then we'll see what you think. Oh, you, you're asking for codes now. Well, well yeah. yeah right. I mean, you know. Yeah. Hey, man, we're close. We right. bonded. Yeah. We I did. Mean, you know, a couple codes. We'll go work out. I mean, we're we're practically bros. <laughs> I right? I would die. That's, I think, what would happen. No, you're in great shape. It'll be fine. The only thing, the, the, the only thing that I truly want to get the message out today, um, and, and you don't get a lot of time to talk, obviously, and you guys are here to see a lot of different things, and thank you very much for supporting Destiny thank 2. Thank you. Yeah. And, and we're excited about it as well. But one of the main things that I personally want to get across is, is how uh, incredibly awesome that Destiny community is and how awesome you guys are that play. Yeah. And some of you don't know it, but some of you, when you're playing, may be playing with me. So I enjoy playing with all of you. I enjoy the game. I'm very excited about Destiny 2, the new adventures we're going to have. I'm already itching right now to go try out this new one. And, um, you know, D2 is going to be the bomb, diggity. So uh, I'm looking forward to playing, and hopefully I'll see you guys out there in the yeah. community somewhere. And if there's a big yellow bar and I'm lowballing it, just try to come and help me out. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Thank you all again. 
we couldn't be happier to have you play. And I want a big, big thanks for the entire team back at home. Definitely. Uh, we can't wait to see you online. Appreciate it. You bet. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you for this. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. Let's go go get me some codes. That's what it's going to do. I don't know what he's talking about. I'm getting some codes before I'm leaving. Thank y'all. Have a blessed day. All right. E3 Coliseum. Great day for gamers. Lots happening over the show floor and right now at the Coliseum. Uh, we got something really special. One of the things we wanted to do at the Coliseum was